Hello students. This is just a, a very brief summary talking about the van der Waals equation. If you'd like, this is from a, a, a chemistry textbook, not the Zumdahl textbook. And it talks about, if you want to pause, and I will, I know there's a glare on the page, I very much apologize. Um, this is nice because this talks about why we need to make adjustments to the ideal gas law for real gases. Talking about the main way that real gases violate the ideal gas law is because they do exert attraction on each other and do have particle volume themselves. So if you'd like to go back and pause to actually read the text, this is a really nice, very friendly reading of why we adjust the and this includes this great graph that I showed in the previous tutorial. But um, this really does a nice job talking about why um, the adjustments are made. But I will walk us through. Um, so the van der Waals equation has an adjustment factor added to pressure and an adjustment factor subtracted from volume. This corrects for the particle volume themselves. You will be given B values that are according to your material. The molecular geometry as well as size is um, revealed in the actual B value. So this is the volume of the container and we're subtracting away the particle volume to reflect the true volume of the gas. The adjustment is added to pressure because depending upon the molecular polarity, the m molecules with the larger values have a greater attraction, thereby are taking away from the force of the collision that the particle would have if there truly wasn't any attraction. So we actually need to add to what the experimentally measured pressure is to account for that, and we need to subtract away from the volume. I just want to give the rest of the text, if you would like to take um, a read through it, let me get the glare. And as I showed in the previous video, I just want to include this here also. Here's a sample problem that I would go over in class showing, given the amount, volume, and temperature of your gas and the identity, which is nitrogen how pressure would be calculated using the ideal gas law, and then pressure would be calculated using the van der Waals equation, given the A and B values, and the equation for um, the van der Waals equation. This never needs to be memorized. Please, as always, forward me any of your questions.